Okay, test for number 23. So we have a grep, shows daily high temperatures for six days. Each of the following describes the data. Can show your mean, median, and mode. So we're gonna find out all these three. So first one, we you can add okay uh, all the temperatures, five plus, ten plus, twenty plus, twenty five, and another twenty and the plus thirty over six. Okay. So you use your calculator. Okay, let me check this one, this one, this one. This is hundred ten divided by six. Okay, you're gonna check it out. Hundred ten divided by six. 18.3, okay, mean is 18.3. So where is media? You can cut up here, okay? From lower is what? 5, 10, upper, 30, and 25. These two is in the middle term. So average of these two, 20 and 20, still 20, okay? So median also 20. Mode is definitely 20, okay? Two times. Mode also 20. But this is not working. This is not working. Number three is working, okay? Choice C is the answer. <clears throat> Number 24. Sine A equals cosine B. That is your co functions. We know that A plus B equals to 90. So from here, we can see the angle C also 90, okay? But they are equals not always, okay? Sometimes maybe if A is 10, B can be 80. Okay, not always. This is not always. This is not always. But this is what must be true. Choice D is the answer. Okay. Right, number 25. We have a class, two thirds of students are girls and two fifths of girls seniors. You can see there will be okay. And one third of seniors have passed the final test. So the number of students, you can let this is X. The person try two thirds. Two thirds of x, the girls. Two pips of girls is uh, times two pips of girls is that seniors right now. So up here, one third of seniors they pass the final test. Okay. So what is the possible number of this x? It should be multiple over three, or multiple over five, and multiple of three again. Okay, so when you multiply over this one, that is 45, okay, 4 over 45 and x. So this uh, number of students must be integer. So x should be multiple over 3, okay, 45 is okay, 90 is okay, keep going, okay. But we have 45 here. Choice C is the answer. Number 26, we have a cylinder which has a volume of 1911. Okay, what is the total volume of its zero? This is the same height, so this volume always well, one third of this one, okay, because this one just, which has the same radius, pi r square h. This also pi r square h, but we need to divide by three, same height. Okay, that's right. So 1911 and divided by three is the volume of this one. Okay, now we're gonna add this two, okay. 1911 over 3 and plus 1911, right? So 2548 is the answer, okay? That is the total volume of a cylinder. Number 27, k equals x squared minus 5x. Over here, for how many integer values of x, the value of k is negative. k is a kind, you can use y, okay? So the, this is k, this is x. When you take log factor the form, that is x times x minus 5. So you're going to pass what these two point x equal 0 and x equal 5, right? The graph looks like this. This is 0 and 5. At these two point, y equal 0, okay? Not negative. It's so over here. 1, 2, 3, 4 over here. They all have a negative number, negative value of y. Okay? This is all negative. So, four numbers available, okay? The number 28. Two identical rectangles inside. The distance between any figure that is four over here. This is four. This is also four over here. Here, four, okay? This is also four. 
So there is a relation between two numbers A and B is a 5 over 2. That means what? A over B equals 5 over 2. You can see that 2A equals 5 B. Okay. Okay, how can you find the value of A and B? We need one more equation because we use two variables there, okay? A and B. So what is the length of this side? A plus 4, another 4. A plus 8. This side is what? 2B plus 4, 4, 4, right? 2B plus 12. That must be equals because that's the square, okay? So A plus 8 equals 2B plus 12. So what is, okay, over here, this is 2A there, okay? Maybe you can use a times 2A, that is okay too. 2A plus 16 equals 4B plus 24. 2A equals 5B. So 5B minus 16 equals 4B minus 24. B equals how much? 24 minus 16 is 8. Okay. So what is the length of this side? 2 times B is 16 plus 20, 12 is 28. Also this is 28. Okay. So the area of this square is 28 times 28. That is what, 784, right? Okay, choice D. Is it answer, okay? The number 29. You can see that. All these sides are equals. The area of the triangle ABC, largest area is 81. What is the area of this shaded region? So this is the ratio of the similars, okay? Small one, this is one. This one is two. This one is three, right? That is the ratio of 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. Small angle right there. Small one, middle one, largest one. That's a similar. 1, 2, 2, 2, 3. That is the ratio of a corresponding side. So ratio of their area is 1 square, 2 square, 4, 3 square is 9. Okay? So let this one. Using K, the area of a small is a K. Second area is a 4 of K. The largest area is 9K. So 9K equals to 81, right? That's a given. From here, we can find the value of K. K equals 9. What is number 9? That is 36. And this is 9. How can you find this area? 36 minus 9. Is okay? So 36 minus 9 equals 27 is the area of this said region, okay? So remember, ratio of the length is similar. A to B, ratio of their area is by A squared to B squared, ratio of their volume is by A cubed to B cubed, okay? All right, number 30, complex number equations. So we're going to find A squared minus B squared. So real equals to real, imaginary equals imaginary. So real, A minus B equals square root 5. And imagine this one, A plus B equals 3 red 5. Okay? So a square minus b square is a plus b, a minus b. Right? You multiply these two. 3 times red 5, another red 5. That is 5, isn't it? 15 is the answer, okay? Alright, move on number 31. Here we go. So we have both what? Linear functions, fj. That both what? Straight line. But that means this one. This one is they have intersection and A and B. That's the meaning, right? Maybe the best way, I think, to find this one, better find, okay, the equation of each functions, okay? Okay. But this is already y to sub over here, okay? Slope is how much? Two. This is one, right? Two over one is the slope. This is y to sub. The equation of this line is y equals 2x plus 12. But this one is 6, this is 2, slope is 3, right? 6 over 2 is 3. So y equals 3x plus b. So using any point, 1 is 7, that is better, okay? Using this point, we can find the value of b. When y is 7, x is 1, 3 plus b. So b equals 4, right? So equation of this y equals 3x plus 4. The other one is y equals 2x plus 12. Now let's find their intersection. 3x plus 4 equals 2x plus 12. 
So x equals 8. It's okay. x equals 8. And what about y? y equals 2 times 8 and plus 12. 16 plus 12 is 28. That is the solution set. That means what? A is 8, B is 28. Okay, so the value of these two numbers will be 36 is the answer. Okay. All right, number two. Okay, the read question should be okay. Here we go. He gives each student five books. He will have 10 books left over. And he gives away each student seven books. He will need additional 20 books. How many students are in the class? You can take a student number at the end. The first we're going to find, okay, how many books are there at this uh, situation? The first scenario, five books. So the number of books is about five and and left over is about 10 books. That is the total number of books over here. But when you give it about seven books, that is the total number of seven, and, right? At this time, we need a little 20 books, more 20 books. So when you have to 20 books, that is seven times n. That is okay. So five n plus 30 equals seven n. So two n equals what? 30 and equals 15, right? That is the number of students, okay? Can move on number 33. You have two quadratics. So this is x intercept, one of the quadratics, or this one. If this is zero, x equals plus minus four. So this is four, but this is a negative four. So the length of this side is eight. Now I'm gonna find the length of this side. For this number, x coordinate on this, okay? So what is that? 16 minus 30 to negative 16, right? This point is negative 16. But distance is still positive 16. So there, this rectangle is 8 times 16, 128 is this, okay? The number 34. G of 3 is 5, G of 4 is 10. What is the value of A? A is up here. So G of 3, put this number. G of 3, actually, the F of 0 equivalent, right? That is equals to 5. The G of 4, put this number there. F of 1, right, 4 minus 3 is 1, that is equals to 10. So take a look over here. You're going to use this one. So F of 0 is given by the equation over here, okay? 0 is how much? B equals 5, okay? G is 0, 0, 5. The next one, put this number 1 there. 1 plus A plus B equals to 10. Okay, B is a 5. What is A? A plus 6 equals 10. A equals to 4, right? That word 35. Number 35, R is there, okay? R times there. That is equal to length of arc 10, okay? So R, there is a pi over 3. So R equals what? 30 over pi, right? So pi R squared, pi times R squared is what? 900 over pi squared. But we take only this, what is? 60 degree. Or pi over 3, 2 pi, it doesn't matter. Anyway, that is 1 over 60 area, okay? Times 1 over 6. So pi is cancelled out, that is 150, so the answer is what? 150 over pi, okay? Now let's do this one. 150 over pi, okay? 47.7, okay? That's right, 47.7, okay? That's the answer. This is number 36. P0 equals 5, put this number 0 there, negative k. So that is equals 5, k equals negative 5, okay? Put this number in there, we can get these equations. Px equals x squared plus 4x minus minus 5 plus 5. To find the minimum, the graph looks like this one, okay? That has a minimum on this vertex. You better change into vertex, okay? This one, half of this one, x plus 2 squared. Check it out, this is for this 5, add one more over here, okay? That is minimum, okay? What is this? Number 37. All right, this is number 37. Revenue and costs given by the equations. So profit. Profit is R minus C. That is a profit. Okay. So return to profit. If this is greater than or equal to zero, they're going to have profit. 
So we're gonna find the value of x over here, okay? R is 100x minus this one. 85x minus plus, still minus 2,000 is greater than equal to, okay? This one is 15x greater than 2,000. So divide by 50. So that is equals to 130 over here, 2,000 over 50, 133 point, okay? So it's gonna be 134, okay? From 134, they're gonna have a profit, okay? Because x is what? Integer, okay? 134 is the answer. Now number 38, for what value of x the company achieve profit do you do? 100,000, okay? So still, same things. 100x minus 85x and minus 2,000, that equals to 100,000, okay? So 15x equals how much? 100,000 minus 2,000, that's right? Okay, that's gonna be uh, plus 2,000, 102,000, okay? So you can divide by 15. Now let's find the value of x. over 50, 6,800, okay? If the product is 6,800, they're gonna have profit $100,000, okay? All right, this is the last question. Okay, I'll see you in test four, okay? Thanks for joining the class, okay?